Hey, this is David McCall with the QTS Experience. If you enjoy this conversation, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. See you next time. The reality is, is that the ability to do things uh, digitally, um, in some cases, takes pressure off of needing to uh, extract resources from forests. Um, and I mean, we are supportive of you know all forest products, include paper. It's a renewable resource. But if we can conserve um, uh, those resources, use less of something, um, that that frees up more for something else, um, right. including in some cases to um, to leave some uh, forest areas uh, less heavily uh, used. And so. Um, you know, just that the power to be able to do more things digitally uh, from our perspective is, is, a, is in itself um, a sustainability uh, opportunity and strategy and lever. Uh, but furthermore, uh, the entire forest movement at this moment in time, um, including some of the forest restoration work that I described earlier, it's driven by data. Mm -hmm. um, we do not have enough dollars and enough hours to just throw it out there into the world. You know, plant right. a tree here or there and hope that it adds up to something. As I was mentioning before, we're trying to serve the needs of threatened and endangered species. You know, where do we plant trees? So there's a corridor for the ocelot, a threatened mm -hmm. cat, uh, you know, in, uh, in, in South Texas to be able to move without getting killed when it crosses a highway. Right. That's really specific stuff and you're picking specific properties and you're really getting granular about what you need to do where um, to serve the needs of that uh, species. Those decisions are driven by data. We just completed a, a, a plan using geographic uh, information system software um, to, to map out, you know, where the forests uh, need to be uh, planted. A uh, forest and carbon, a uh, forest and climate change. I mean, one of the ways in which our partnership and your commitment to planting trees supports your emissions reductions goals that you're also accomplishing through your energy uh, uh, work, uh, work in, in your energy footprint. Well, you know, forests in the United States uh, and forest products sequester about 15% of our carbon emissions from fossil fuels every single year. And every tree, tree we add to the landscape is a little more that we're adding to this natural carbon sink that's, that's helping us uh, deal with our, our issue, with our problems with uh, greenhouse gases. And so, um, there's a, a very, very direct connection there um, to you know, your sustainability goals as a company and this partnership of working together to put more forest in the landscape. But guess what? We're going to use data <laughs> to right. drive decisions about where to put those forests in places where they're going to sequester the most carbon. Um, how do we manage those forests uh, in, in ways that they're going to be able to grow and survive in a changing climate? You know, we use data to visualize how the climate is going to change in the future so we can make those kinds of decisions in the right way. So we're so wound together, you can hardly even, uh, you know, <laughs> extract it all. Like we're bound together like a ball thread here. Yeah. Um, but I think it's, it's just a natural partnership. Um, and it's really exciting to see this uh, technology and forests kind of coming together in all these different ways uh, to deliver you know, the outcomes that we need uh, on, on the ground across America.